Sorry about that. That cut off right in the middle of the video. I'm not sure why. But anyways, I am doing two skeins of two rows of the oak tweed and then I'm doing two rows of the brown. And that is getting me sort of a heathered effect. I cast on the same number of stitches that were called for in the campfire blanket pattern. And it's just garter stitch. So, and I'm just carrying up the side. So those four colors together. So I'm making a wool blanket. These are size 13 needles. These are the Lion Brand needles. They're plasticky, but they're, they're pretty smooth. I may switch to Velocity needles because I have Susan Bates Velocity in 13s and I think it would go a little bit faster on the wool. But this will kind of get sidelined for a while because I have two other commission projects. Um, I have more Bernat baby blanket yarn in Rosy Posy. It kind of gives you an idea of the color. And this is going to be another basket weave blanket. So that'll kind of keep me out of trouble. That's going to be for my friend's mom. He's paying me for the yarn for that. Then I have a commission for a pair of socks. Um, I'm not sure what colors yet. I'm thinking maybe this color. It's called Meerkat. This is Cozy Toes by Mariner. Um, this is stuff I bought off yarnlane.com. And I'm thinking this color only because I have a redheaded cousin, like Celtic redhead. And I want, she wants a pair of socks. And I thought this color might be fabulous for winter. And I want to try and knit this up. This is merino wool and nylon. But I'm not really sure on that. I may knit up a... I may go through my yarn stash for sock yarn and see what I've got because I know I have a lot of Patton's, Patton's Croy and I have a lot of, well, I have a couple of Signature by West Yorkshire Spinners and I can't remember what color besides the purple in the West Yorkshire Spinners that I have, so I may want to try those out. The other exciting news is that Ollie's has yarn again. Ollie's discount has yarn again. What I bought was five skeins. This is the Heat Wave yarn by Red Heart. So if you've always wanted to try this and you've never been able to, what it does is it heats up in sunlight, even on a cloudy day, to 12 degrees above the ambient air temperature. So this will warm up. And it's 100% acrylic, I believe. It's 100% acrylic. Some skeins will vary. Some skeins are not as soft as others. I tried to grab soft skeins, but I got bikini, which is sort of a reddish color. I got, I think it's papyrus, but I'm not really sure. It's, it's gray. I got a purple color that I can't even tell you what it is. It's purple. And then they had two variegate colors. One of them is Water Park. So that's got like pinks and blues in it. And then the other one is Adventure. And that has sort of different colors in it. So that's what I bought at Ollie's. They were $2.99 a piece. I don't even know if you can still buy. I think Joann's might still carry Red Heart. But if you have an Ollie's and you've always wanted to try the, that Heat Wave yarn, they had some other yarns too. I saw some Baby Softy Cotton in one color. I saw some Karen Party in one color. And I saw some Bernat Baby Essentials maybe in one color. And then something else. 
I can't remember what the other thing was, but it was like a Bernat yarn. And so you'll have to check and see what your local Ollie's has. And that is all I'm working on this week. So I bought yarn, I bought wool. I'm working on a blanket. I've got another blanket. I've got another pair. Of, I've got a pair of socks to make. So I'm going to be quite busy, <laughs> but you're probably only going to see, oh, look, I did a blanket. Because I can make one of those basket weave blankets in about a week to a week and a half. I started that maybe Wednesday or Thursday night, and today's Sunday. So I'll have time to work on that while I'm doing laundry today. It's not going to be that exciting around this house today. Um, I'll probably clean the, bath the bathroom at some point. Getting ready for a Halloween party next weekend that I'm going to a friend's house for. So I need to clean up my, my guest room for me. And then I'm just going to let somebody use my main bedroom if they need a place to stay. Um, it's not going to be that exciting. But if somebody needs a place to stay, then they have it. And that's all I've got, folks. I am going to say... Please knit or crochet something for your mental health this week. It is good for you to do that. Um, if you're not in a place where you can even do that and you don't even want to, you're just overwhelmed with everything, just take a, take a good look at your yarn and see what you've got. Maybe clear out some if it, everything is overwhelming. Um, maybe you want to clear out a few balls of yarn and take them down to the school for the kids for art projects or take them to the nursing home for maybe somebody who crochets or knits there who might need that um, or take them to the Goodwill or the, the thrift store. Um, make a donation, make your heart feel a little lighter. Um, I know it gets overwhelming with the yarn. I've been trying to knit hats and now I've got to find a place to take them um, and donate them. Hopefully my friend's school, uh, she's a teacher, will do a hat drive and I can donate them. But again, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, and I'm sorry for the camera cutting off in the middle of the last one, please subscribe below and hit that notification bell. That will get you my latest episodes coming in and you won't have to wonder, well, did she record something this week? Did she not record something this week? And again, I'm trying to record on a more regular basis so that you can find me more easily and find content more easily. I hope you guys have a great week and please have a great week. Bye.